Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I review and analyze the latest episodes of Justified, City Primeval, the revival series of the beloved neo-western drama Justified. In this video, I'm going to talk about episode 3, titled Backstabbers, and how it finished one of the main characters in a shocking twist. If you haven't seen the episode yet, be warned that this video contains major spoilers, so proceed at your own risk. Episode 3 of Justified City Primeval picks up where Episode 2 left off, with Raylan Givens, Timothy Oliphant, confronting Clement Mansell, Boyd Holbrook, the ruthless killer who tried to kidnap his daughter Willa, Vivian Oliphant. Raylan beats up Clement and warns him to stay away from his family, but Clement is not easily intimidated. He tells Raylan a story about how he once killed a man who looked just like him in a bar fight, and how he enjoyed watching him die. He also reveals that he knows Raylan's name and where he works, implying that he will come after him sooner or later. Meanwhile, Willa is angry at Raylan for putting her in danger and for not being honest with her about his job and his past. She tells him that she wishes he would just admit that he doesn't want her around, and that she wants to go back to her mom in Florida. Raylan tries to reassure her that he loves her and that he's doing his best to protect her, but Willa is not convinced. She feels betrayed by Raylan's choices and actions. Raylan also has to deal with his professional troubles, as he continues to investigate the murder of Judge Guy, who was killed by Clement in Episode 2. He teams up with Detective Wendell Robinson, Omar Benson Miller, who is also looking for Clement for another murder case. They track down Sweetie, R.G. Seiler, a former musician who is now working as a bartender and an informant for Clement. Sweetie tells them that he has the gun that Clement used to kill Judge Guy, and that he's willing to give it to them in exchange for protection and immunity. However, Sweetie is also secretly working with Carolyn Wilder, Rosario Dawson, Clement's lawyer, and Raylan's potential love interest. Carolyn wants Sweetie to give her the gun so she can destroy it and save Clement from prosecution. The episode reaches its climax when Raylan and Wendell go to meet Sweetie at his apartment, where they find him dead on the floor. They realize that Clement got there first and killed him and that he also took the gun with him. They also find a note from Clement addressed to Raylan, saying, see you soon. Raylan is furious and frustrated, knowing that Clement has escaped again and that he has lost his only chance to catch him. But the biggest shocker of the episode comes in the final scene, when we see Clement driving away from Sweetie's apartment with Sandy Lily Simmons, his girlfriend and accomplice. Sandy asks him why he killed Sweetie, and Clement says that he was a traitor who deserved to die. He then tells Sandy that he loves her and that he has a surprise for her. He pulls out a ring box from his pocket and opens it, revealing a diamond ring. He asks Sandy to marry him, but before she can answer, he shoots her in the head, killing her instantly. He then tosses her body out of the car window and drives off, smiling. This sea was shocking for several reasons. First of all, it showed how cold-blooded and unpredictable Clement is as he killed his own girlfriend without any remorse or hesitation. He clearly doesn't care about anyone but himself, and he enjoys killing people for fun. He also proved to be a formidable adversary for Raylan, as he managed to outsmart him and get away with murder twice in one episode. Secondly, it finished Sandy's character arc in a tragic way. Sandy was introduced in episode 1 as a waitress who worked at the same diner as Willa. She seemed to be a friendly and innocent person who befriended Willa and helped her escape from some thugs who were after her. However, in episode 2, we learned that she was actually Clement's girlfriend and accomplice, and that she was involved in his crimes. Sandy was a complex character who had shades of grey. She was not completely evil, as she showed some kindness and compassion towards Willa and Skender. She also seemed to be genuinely in love with Clement, despite his abusive and violent behavior towards her. She was a victim of his manipulation and control, but she also chose to stay with him and follow him into his dark path. She had a chance to redeem herself and escape from Clement's grip, but she didn't take it. Sandy's death was also a loss for the show, as she was one of the most interesting and dynamic characters in the series. She had a lot of potential to grow and change, and to play a bigger role in the story. She also had a connection to Willa, who is Raylan's daughter and one of the main protagonists. Sandy could have been a source of conflict and drama for Raylan and Willa, as they would have to deal with her involvement in 